the outer perimeter lip. I got it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> I think I've been mentioning in a few videos about my first pipe. Dr. Graybo. Bulldog, Golden Duke, along with that, <clears throat> I know that uh, I had mentioned several times about a particular blend that I was trying to rediscover that I had once upon a time in Williamsburg, Virginia. And I was certain that it was a Peter Stokeby blend and that it had the name of Lee's Choice or something to do with General Lee. And <clears throat> I actually, for the first time in many years, have found my way back to Williamsburg. So immediately I went into my tobacconist to rush in and buy up that Lee's <laughs> blend that I was certain was a flake or a coin or a spun cake. <laughs> it's a ribbon cut. And uh, I didn't buy any, so I'm not exactly sure which blend for Stokeby the uh, the aptly named uh, Lee's Choice or Cut or something like that is for the, this particular area. But um, I did pick up two other flakes. First, they call St. John's Flake, but this is the Peter Stokeby uh, Virginia Slices is what this is, pure Virginia. Or it might be a vapor. I think it's a vapor. Smells like a fresh cut field of hay here in Virginia. But almost certain I've ordered this and there's one of the blends that I did a first tasting on the other blend that I bought is named Canal Walk Twist this is the Peter Stokeby uh, uh, what do they call it Twist Flake, I think. I think this is a Pure Virginia. Hmm. I didn't order this blend when I ordered all those other blends that uh, we did first tastes on now 18 months, 17 months, 19 months ago. This is the blend I was trying to find. It is, it's gonna be amazing once you, once it's aged. I, I just, based on how the, uh, the bullseye flakes are, um, I still haven't shot that video comparing the, the new luxury bullseye to the aged luxury bullseye that I have. 
the, the difference is night and day. I'll, I will eventually get you the video. But these spun flakes, This is what is going to give you the tobacco barn aroma. I don't know about once it's aged, because I wasn't into aging then when I lived here. But this is going to give you that, if you've never smelled it, or never have a chance to. This is what a traditional wooden North Carolina, Virginia, Southern tobacco barn smells like. If you smoke indoors, if you smoke inside your vehicle, this is gonna leave a nice aroma. Mild tasting. No tongue bite. I'm in heaven. Has a dried grass flavor. Smells like a summer farm. On the retro. Hmm. Heaven. <clears throat> so where am I at? Well, you heard Williamsburg, but I'm not in Williamsburg. Canal Walk is in reference to Japan, I mean uh, Richmond. Did I wake you up? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you don't wake me up. Oh. I was coming out to get the uh, bird feeders. The bird feeders? Yeah. yeah. There's about, I'm shooting a video, which is fine. I'm sorry. There's about 70, my mom keeps these, what is this? Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But there's probably 70 hummingbirds just swimming around. You've probably seen or, or heard some of them, so. You want some help? Turn it off for a second. Turn it off? No, we don't. Be, we don't edit and cut things here. I don't want to be in it. Oh, you won't. If you're over there, you won't be in okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna get those two that are empty. Oh. This one's not empty. No. No. They'll be busy through the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, and I won't have to fix any more until tomorrow. Well, if you'd stop being so nice to them, they wouldn't hang around. Mm -hmm. And then you wouldn't have to refill these uh, sugar waters. Ten more pounds of sugar. How long does ten pounds of sugar last? It lasted less than a week. One week. Yep. Ten pounds of sugar. One week. So oh, getting back. Oh, got a tad in it. I don't like to take it. What? Oh. I want to empty. empty, empty. Right. So the canal walk is in reference to in Richmond, the Richmond Canal up there, which is actually where the river boats would bring up and offload their tobacco. And that whole area up through there, at one time, I don't know if it still is, was called yes. Tobacco Row. Yes. So that's the name of the, the blend here. But it's a Peter Stokeby blend that, we, that anyone could order, you know, from smoking pipes or any of the other places. That's the, uh, the twist flake. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to go get my coffee. I'm out here watching. You're watch me do a video? It's wet, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, we can get a towel. I've got plenty of towels. I'll bring one. Okay. What I was telling them is that I've been trying to find this, and I thought that it's easily available. It's readily available, but I was confused on 
what I had purchased. This has been four or five years ago no. here in Williamsburg. Really? So I've been searching for this, and here it is. It's something that I could have, but I just never ordered this one particular flake. Why don't you take a couple of things home? So, well, I'm taking this home, but I, I can order this online. Okay. I just I didn't realize That's what it was. That's so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have found it. So if I'm between Richmond and Williamsburg, where am I at? I'll, don't tell them. I'm trying to build some intrigue here. I'm in a place known as the birthplace of presidents. There have been <clears throat> several presidents born and or owned plantations along the river where I'm located. So you can look that up if you're interested in history or a little bit of eastern U.S. geography. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? I don't want, to, don't want to go too long because I'm not sure how long I've been going now as it is, but... How do you feel when you're certain of something, 100%, and then you're proven <laughs> wrong? Are you upset? Are you glad to actually know for sure? Uh, I'm glad to actually know for sure. I'm really excited about having found this this uh, twist flake. Definitely going to order up, you know, maybe only four ounces at a time, so I can sort of stagger the aging process. Uh, other than that, I guess we can cut it short. What do you guys like to drink uh, coffee out of? This is a little pitcher made out of glass. Some of you may have seen this. It's called jadeite. This is actually an old piece. This was uh, a popular, it came in several colors, but this is the most popular color, which is good because I like the color and I collected it. So did my parents and we probably have enough to actually stock a diner with, <laughs> with plates and coffee cups and all, all the accoutrement that, that you can think of. Um, and I'm glad now that after three years, I'm back to having my, my, my cup that I drink out of. So. Not that this was the actual cup I drank out of, but these jadeite cups, I just love them. <clears throat> well, I'm going to cut it here. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Mom will be out pretty soon, and we'll have some nice coffee out here and watch the hummingbirds and Enjoy each other's company before the heat comes on. So, share, comment, like. Let me know what uh, you think about the video, what would make it better. And we'll see you later.